Hi, I'm Marty Mason with Twin Disc Incorporated. We're here at Lamb's Yacht Center today in Jacksonville, Florida to demonstrate and explain Twin Disc's newest marine propulsion product. It's called the Express Joystick System. It will truly revolutionize the way you're able to maneuver your boat. So come on, step aboard and let's see what it's all about. We're on the bridge of our 47 foot convertible now and this is the new Express Joystick System. This system is comprised of several proprietary twin disc marine products. Starting with the quick shift marine transmissions which are unique in their design and functionality. They are controlled by the quick shift EC300 control system. This boat also has the twin disc BCS hydraulic thruster system on it. So, the new Express Joystick System controls all of these products at the same time. Let me show you how this system works. Okay, we've uh, started the engines and we've dropped our shore power and dock lines. We are gonna take control with the joystick now. We're gonna start to move very slowly, very softly out of the slip at this time. Very minute movements of the stick. This boat's uh, 47 feet long about 54 overall, 55,000 pounds, 1,500 horsepower, electronically controlled diesel engines. We got a 16-foot beam and a 17-foot slip, so we've got about six inches on each side to play with. This is a, a good example for you to see the precise control that we're going to have of this vessel. We are in very tight quarters here. Again, I'm just fudging it a little bit ahead. Very small amount of movement. There's a little bit of breeze blowing through here today. It's blowing about 15 knots on the outside, so we got a little breeze coming through and a, and a little bit of current here as well. We're still not clear of our slip and we are starting almost to enter the slip ahead of us. As soon as our platform clears on the stern, uh, we will start the rotation. This is a time that can be very intimidating for a lot of boaters and owners and captains, but the express joystick system makes it a snap. As we do a clockwise rotation, the boat's going to correspond in the same direction. This is as we would be doing on levers. We have uh, the port and forward and uh, starboard in reverse. And we will get quite close to a few of the boats in here. We'll continue to turn on a clockwise basis to spin the boat around. We're going to let it drift a moment and I'm going to counter it and, and actually stop it with a counterclockwise rotation now. So we're out of our slip, we're centered up in the waterway here. I'm just going to ease it forward. Very soft, very responsive, and total control. The wind is blowing the bow off a little bit, and you may see a little bit of rotation at the same time while I'm pushing it forward, and that's to straighten the boat up. The rudders are parked in the straight position, and we are not using the steering at all. We're going to start a clockwise rotation of the joystick here, and obviously the boat is coming around nicely. We're going to stop and let it drift a little bit and I'm going to stop the rotation and we're going to move it ahead forward just, just ever so slightly. Nice and quiet. Very controlled. This is always a one hand operation. The steering uh, and the rudders, the, the corresponding rudders for the steering are in a dead ahead position. So we're not using any rudder at all, it's not required. We're not making any wake, we're not disturbing any other boats. I'm very quietly uh, departing the marina. We're just gonna ease right over here to this dock. So we're gonna move ahead by moving the joystick directly forward. And then the corresponding move of the joystick to this o'clock position allows us to maneuver the boat and, and basically crab it at a two o'clock angle and once again this is done with conventional shafts and props all with one hand we're not using the steering system the rudders are in their dead ahead position and we're going to slow down a little bit here and we're just going to rotate the bow around a little bit and we're going to just move to the side just a bit. And even with the wind and the current that's trying to blow the, the boat away from the dock, we're 
Gonna approach it very softly. We're laying against the pilings now. And as quickly and as softly as we were able to come to the dock, we're gonna start moving away now. Whatever the corresponding command is given to the joystick, the boat responds accordingly, without hesitation. So we're moving away, and we can increase the rate. All the controls are proportional. The more you advance the stick in any direction, the more thrust is applied. Right now we have transmissions engaged and thrusters engaged. So we have very quietly and softly moved away from the dock. We're positioned here probably 80 or 90 feet away uh, from the dock. Um, started the control to move sideways, and we can do it slow or we can do it fast. We're going to be now advancing uh, very rapidly toward the dock, sideways. At the same time that we are moving this way, if I wanted to trim the boat a little ahead or a little astern, a small adjustment on the, on the joystick would allow me to move it forward as we're doing now. Or if I decided I needed to back up a little bit, I can back it back up a little bit. Very easy, very well done. I'm gonna start to come off the thrust a little bit as we're closing, uh, approaching the, the pilings. And we can just ease up on, on a very soft contact with the pilings. And that's another express joystick maneuver to the dock that you can enjoy on your boat. All right, we're gonna move away from the dock once again. We're gonna move the joystick to the port. So the boat moves to the port as desired. Should be able to see the pilings and the boat moving away. And again, if uh, the wind or current moves the bow or stern, a, a little bit of a tweak uh, either with a clockwise rotation or counterclockwise rotation will keep the boat parallel with the dock. If you are going to be a boater, there are three fundamental things you must be able to do. Depart your slip, return to your slip, and visit the fuel dock. The Twin Disc Express joystick system makes each of these maneuvers easy and comfortable. For instance, I can line the boat up with the fuel dock, slide directly sideways into position, then just as easily slide out and be on my way. All right, we're back at the marina now. And this again is one of those moments that a lot of boaters can be very intimidated when it comes time to docking their boat. With the Twin Disc Express joystick control system, all those apprehensions are gone. Being able to control both engines, both transmissions, and both thrusters all in one joystick allows you to control this boat like a feather floating on the water. We're gonna be making a, a turn to port here and we're doing that with a just a slight counterclockwise rotation on the joystick. And we've had a lot of people on board already that are just totally amazed at how easy this is and how comfortable they feel. People have never even been boating before. So the most inexperienced boater can learn how to operate these types of boats with this control system on it and look like a pro. We're able to straighten the boat up just by simple rotation, whether it's clockwise or counterclockwise, to get the boat in the position that we'd like to have it on our approach to the slip. Okay, we're going astern a little bit, and we're gonna give it a little clockwise rotation. Just a little bit, not much required. We have a little bit of wind and a little bit of current to deal with, but it's easily dealt with. Just a little bit of movement of the joystick. When you're in tight quarters as we are right now, being able to have very small 
precise movements of the boat is critical. Put, putting this boat into the slip with the wind and the current without touching any of the fenders or any of the pilings requires this kind of control. And that's working the, the boat against the wind and the current at an angle. And we are continually able to leave the slip and come back to the slip without contact on the bulwarks or the pilings. And we get lined up and again, the direction you wish the boat to go or need it to be in is simply acquired very quickly with movements of the joystick. I'm gonna to move to the left a little bit right now. So we've aligned ourselves up. We're backing into the stern end of the slip and we're just gonna keep easing back to the point that uh, our park position. Very easily done, total control, no fast movements required, no assistance being required, and I'm just slowing the boat down a little bit. And we are very quietly and smoothly just about to our parked position in the slope. And it's just that easy. We've demonstrated some very challenging docking and maneuvering situations today. We hope you've learned just how advantageous and enjoyable it would be to have this joystick system on your next boat. For more information, please contact Twin Disc Incorporated. <laughs>